went to VidCon and cool things happened and I'm terrible at taking pictures, so I made a video and blah, 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 Becca. Well, I went to VidCon, cool things happened, and I'm pretty dang good at taking pictures, I guess. But I made a video anyway because it's my job. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. I went to the 10th annual VidCon this year, which makes this my fifth VidCon in a row. And I always have a great time at VidCon, but I never really tell you guys about it. Well, let's change that. This is uh, a brief history of my experiences at VidCon 2019. We'll, uh, We'll workshop that title. Anyway, I arrived in Anaheim for VidCon on Wednesday, July 10th after visiting Matt, Pat, and Steph from my game theorist family for a few days. And this year was a big one for me because while I've never been a featured creator at VidCon, Rebecca Parham was kind enough to give me her plus one this year, which meant I had my first ever full access pass to VidCon. And so with all the possibilities that came with full access to a convention like VidCon, I wandered around pretty aimlessly for a while. But then I ran into Cypher Den and Chili Panda by complete coincidence, and thus my life had direction again. They also had yellow passes, so we decided to head to the hotel to meet up with some of the other animators. And oh my god, there were so many awesome people there. Eddie Burback, Nakey Jakey, Mitchell Davis, Ginger Pale, Tab, Something Else YT, Draw With Jazza, and of course, Rebecca, the reason I was there in the first place. I honestly didn't see her a ton after that because she was so busy this year, but I really owe her one. Thanks again, Becca. A group of animators and I all grabbed dinner at Outback Steakhouse and I was living. Tabs called me a hype man for the animators cause I kept going up to everyone chanting their names like Ginger Pale, Ginger Pale, Ginger Pale, Ginger Pale. <gasps> Taps, 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 taps. I was just really excited to see everyone. And after dinner, we went to this little animator get together where I met Amy Wright Meow. We had been talking on Twitter for a while, so it was great to finally meet her. And for the most part, that was pretty much it. I had already met so many people and the convention hadn't even started yet. Which brings us to Thursday, VidCon day one. And honestly, there's not a ton to say about day one. This was kind of my, I've got a yellow pass and I'm gonna use it day. So there was a lot of wandering around and checking out stuff I never could before. I'd been hearing Illymation mention this YouTube party going on that night and I thought I'd check it out. But turns out it was one of those things you had to have like special credentials for. So I figured it was out of the question. I saw that a lot of my friends were heading to the chess boxing event with the odd ones out and it's Alex Clark, but I was a big <laughs> stupid <laughs> dum dum who didn't realize that was happening during VidCon, so I never bought a ticket and now it was sold out. So there I was, just a boy with nothing to do. Hey, I said you could come with us to Dave and Buster. Just a boy with nothing to do. So I said, yeah, well, I guess I'll head back to the hotel and just see what happens. On my way, I run into Courtney, Shane, Damien, and Ian from Smosh. They were heading to the YouTube party and said that I might actually be on the list. I just needed to head to the registration area in the hotel and ask. And thus, I was given a brand new mission objective. Head into the hotel, go to registration, and wow, this sounds boring. But it wasn't, because not one minute later, I ran into iDubs and Anthony Padilla, AKA the boy. Turns out Anthony was also trying to go to the YouTube party. And to make a long story short, we were both on the list and we started heading out only to run into Brandon Rogers, AKA the boy. I'd never really met or talked to Brandon before, but we got along really well, really quick. So the three of us all went to the YouTube party together and had a freaking amazing time. And dude, that party was huge. It was in a closed off section of the expo hall and there were so many people. I legit felt like if I broke off from the group for even a second, then I'd lose them for the rest of the night. And I'm a sensitive boy who's afraid of getting lost. That being said, I did do a little exploring and found some animator buds. At one point, Illymation and I were trying to talk, but it was so loud, you had to just yell at each other to be heard. And and in her efforts to be heard, Illy kinda 
accidentally spat directly in my face. It was like if you took a spritzer bottle and just went tss. Very gross, very funny. But anyway, after the party, Anthony, Brandon, and I decided to head back to the hotel for a bit. And I don't exactly remember where it came from, but we all started joking about being the cast of a sitcom. And thus, our squad was officially dubbed The Golden Boys. We spent the rest of the night in Brandon's hotel room just talking for like, two hours straight. A pretty great end to a really surprising night. Day two of VidCon was also pretty great and busy, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna pick one major, major highlight from that day, my meetup. For those of you who missed my last upload, I launched my first ever merchandise this VidCon. It was being sold at the Creator Inc. booth in the Expo Hall, and I was so excited. And on Friday morning, I decided to hold a little meet and greet at the booth. It was kinda last minute with only two hours worth of promotion and prep, but that was my fault. And I was totally ready for no one to show up, but... Wow. I got to the booth 15 minutes early and people were already recognizing me and asking for photos and signatures. Over the next hour, I met dozens upon dozens of you guys. We had to start forming lines. It was nuts. I would be absolutely nowhere without you guys. And seeing just some of you in person reminded me how lucky I am to have an audience of such awesome people. To anyone who came up and said hi during that meet and greet or or during the convention at all, I really hope you had a great time. Which brings us to the final day of VidCon, Saturday. This was the big day for the animators. Every featured animator was on panels and events and meetups, so things were pretty packed. I met up with Amy and Rushlight Invader to check out a couple of the animator events in the expo hall, and guys, Look at this crowd. All of this for the animation scene. That is huge. Funny and kind of embarrassing side note, while I was watching one of these animator events, I was way in the back, got distracted for a bit, looked back and thought, wait a minute. I see James, Illy, Domix, Jazza, Adam, and Jaden, but who's that blonde girl? It was Ginger Pale. Oops. Am I a pretty girl? Shut up! That night, a group of animators and I all went to Scribble Showdown! Jaden, James, and Domix, plus Ross and Aaron from Game Grumps, all doing a bunch of drawing games live. And shout out to Rushlight Invader, AKA the boy, who hooked me up with an extra ticket because, again, I'm big dumb. And the show was hilarious, man. I am so glad they're taking that on tour because I loved it. But at one point in the show, they started playing this game called Animation Mad Libs. For the next 30 minutes, Aaron was going around the crowd asking for seven things to include in a cartoon while the rest of the guys drew them all out on one drawing tablet. And during the very last item, I said to the person next to me, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if everything crashed right now? Panic! I'm serious. James dislodged a cable or pressed a wrong button or something because right after I said that, the drawing tablet feed cut completely after half an hour of work. They got it back up. It turns out the screen just went to sleep and nothing was lost, but... In that moment, an entire theater was in complete shock and disbelief, and it was electric. Also, uh, James told me to make sure I mentioned this. After the show, I bought him and a bunch of my friends McDonald's because it was late, they were only accepting cash, I was the only one who had cash, and then we all went back to his place and I met his dog Floof, and good dog, great dog, best 10 out of 10 dog. Very loud, good volume on the dog. And that about wraps up the convention and leads us to the very last day of the trip, Disney Day. Now, I had been looking forward to Disneyland for months, but this year was a little different. None of my friends were doing Disney Day, so I was going to Disneyland by myself. Not something I'm super used to, but okay, I can handle it. And it honestly was going better than I expected, but... Then I saw Frozen Live. Now, before I talk about this, there's one major thing that happened in my life before this trip that I haven't really ever talked about on YouTube, and fair warning, this is a 
bit of a heavy turn. Three months ago, I lost my dad. He passed away in April. Now, I don't want you guys to worry too much. I'm okay. This has been a really hard thing to deal with, but I'm doing all right. But I don't know, man. I went to go see Frozen Live and kind of forgot about Anna and Elsa losing their parents right up until that part in the first number. And it hit me in a really intense and unexpected way. I got extremely emotional and kind of started crying. And that weird emotional state lasted the rest of the day. I walked around the parks for a little while after and even rode another ride, but I had just kind of shut down. So I called it a night early and went back to my hotel. I hate that this was how my big week out was ending, but grief's weird like that, man. It kind of just surprises you. In fact, if there's one thing this VidCon proved, it's that life really does throw surprises at you constantly. Like, every day. Hanging out with Brandon and Anthony was completely spontaneous, and it's one of my best VidCon memories. But a few days later, a trip to Disneyland causing memories of my dad's passing to resurface was also completely spontaneous. You never know what life's gonna hand you on any given day, and I guess that's kind of the point. So just make the best out of what you're given. And be sure to let the people in your life know how much they mean to you, because the time that you have with them is invaluable. And until next time, thank you for watching, guys, and DFTBA.